Welcome to the William Hathaway Show, episode number nine. Today is January 22nd, 2021, uh, 2022, sorry. I have a friend introducing to me. I have a friend that I'm about to introduce. His name's Trip Keys. We play baseball together. We're good friends. Uh, Trip, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks for inviting me here. Yeah, um, he knows a lot about basketball. We're going to be talking about some basketball today. And then at the end, I'll hopefully get his picks about the NFL today. Uh, Trip, we know you're a Knicks fan. Um, how are you feeling so far about the Knicks? I know you just got Cam Reddish, but you guys are in a little bit of a hole right now. How do you think the Knicks can dig themselves out of it? Um, I think they just they just got to put defense, and I think they're lacking on turnovers. I think their turnovers are turning into 25 points, which – and we're a fourth quarter team. We're coming back. We're winning fourth quarter by 15 every time, but it's just not enough to get the dub. So I think turnovers really are um, what's holding us back down. If you would want a guy like De'Aaron Fox or a guy like Bradley Beal, would you be willing to give up Julius Randle for him or a guy like that? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think Julius Randle still has um, – a few, a few, uh, a lot of years left in his uh, career, and I think we can improve and win more. But he's not really playing at his full potential right now, and I think he can do better. Do you like Kemba Walker, or do you think he's great trade bait at the deadline, along with a guy like Alec Birch or something, to be a guy with like maybe a pick for uh, De'Aaron Fox or Bradley Beal, as I mentioned. Um, I think that we should keep Kemba. Um, I think him and quickly really build a team um, energy-wise. Um, they really get it going when we're, like, down. If we're, you know, we're in a slump right now. But Kemba and quickly really help out. They just they get the energy flowing through the defense, and we just get on a roll. We get on a little run, and it really helps us. So Kemba really helps. Kemba helps. Okay, yeah, when, when you had both your stars out, or some, some of your guys out. Uh, Kemba really stepped it up. It was around Christmas time. I remember he played on Christmas, had a, a near triple. I think he did have a triple-double. Anyway, um, Ben Simmons, he's playing right now. Uh, he's not playing right now, my bad. He is um, definitely a guy that the Sixers are willing to trade. Where do you think they would trade him? Um, I think somewhere that would, you know, really is really desperate. Um. I think like a desperate team might be like the Rockets. Might trade away a few picks, um, or just a team that really needs like a Ben Simmons. You know, a big bo- a big guy who plays point guard. He's got handles, uh, he can finish. He's a good playmaker. And I think like for the Rockets, even the Knicks, like any team who's really in desperate need right now would really he would really help the team. Definitely a big, um, a guy that doesn't have a great attitude towards his team, but can definitely make plays. He's one of the, well, people are now considering him a number one pick draft bus, but I still think he's got a lot of potential. Um, yeah. With that being said, I have one big question for you about the NBA right now, and that is the Bulls just lost Lonzo Ball. Are the Bulls really a team to beat? Or I would almost compare them to I know that they were preseason heavy, kind of not heavy favorites, but favorites. I almost compare them to the San Francisco Giants. Do you think they can hold up without Lonzo for six to eight weeks? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, Lonzo really helps the playmaking. Um, he gets a lot of the guys to get some buckets. But I think they could still hang around and be like a little, like two or three games over 500 because they still got like two or three all-stars like Levine. But one just, one bad thing about those all stars is they're like bottom tier all stars. But um, Lonzo really helps the team and uh, is a really good playmaker, and he can get his uh, boys to score. And one more question about the Bulls: Is Demar Derozan really legit right now, or is he kind of a one year wonder that's almost going to be like a Julius Randle last year that shows up and then kind of goes back down? What do you think? Uh, I think I think the Rosen is gonna bounce back. He was doing really good on um, uh, New Year's around New Year's. Um, you know those like two buzzer beaters. Yeah. Um, I think he's gonna bounce back though. He's doing he's, he's still doing pretty good. I agree. I agree. And who's your MVP right now in the NBA? Uh, I got I got Jokic right now. Um, excellent passer. He's a good finisher. Good rebounder. He can do almost anything on the floor. Just one lack, one thing he lacks in his speed, but I don't really think he. Yeah, really he's a center him. big man. Doesn't need a ton of speed. Yeah. Um. 
did you? I don't know if you saw it, but Grayson Allen threw Alex Caruso to the ground yesterday. I don't know if you saw that. Not, not see that yet. Um, it was warned at a flagrant too. We know Grayson Allen. I don't know if you know, but he has some bad history in the league. Uh-huh. Um, do you think he? This is. I. I'll let you see the video for yourself, but. Do you think he, this kind of incident and all the incidents that have been put in place over the past few years, do you think he deserves a suspension? Um, I mean, I wouldn't think so. I'm, I mean, I might say, like, a game or two off, but, I mean, it's not, a, you shouldn't really push someone to the ground. Like, it's not really a, a nice move to do. But I think, I, I'd say, like, one or two games off would be a fair consequence. I agree. I think that's a, that's a good that's a good punishment is one to two games. Um, the Lakers, the Lakers. This is the last topic of NBA. It's it's a, it's a big branch right now in the Western Conference. Mm-hmm. AD, Russ, and LeBron. Which one? I know LeBron probably definitely won't be traded. But out of Russ or AD, who do you see getting traded first? Um, I see Westbrook. I don't really think he's at his full potential right now. I mean, AD, I think he just came off an injury, but he's gonna. I think AD really fuels the Lakers' defense, and Westbrook really isn't doing that great on offense. Like he had a good game against, um, I think the Jazz when he thought yeah. he'd go there. But other than that, I don't really think Westbrook's been really good. I think he's not. I don't think he's at his full like potential. Yeah. Um, another question about the Lakers. One more question about the Lakers is they seem old, very um, kind of not great on defense. What is leading to that problem? Is it LeBron? Is it AD? Or is it Ross? In is there sort of a toxic environment over there? Uh, I don't think it's AD. I think AD really is good. Um, LeBron, he kind of lacks on defense, and Westbrook too. They're normally just lunging. They're not really on help side, which forces a lot of layups. Um, causing the points, but I think that's what really is um, screwing them up. I think the Lakers' defense is what's their problem right now. Okay, yeah, I think you agree. Uh, now, the last question I have, I have one MLB question, and uh, the NFL. Um, one MLB question here. How do you feel about the Mets? Because we're both Mets fans. How do you feel about the Mets? Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, you know, um, if we play, Scherzer, uh, Marte, Canna. Escobar, all those, um, Buck Showwalker, like they're doing, they're making some moves right now, and I'm really, I'm really, I'm really proud of the Mets right now, their organization, and I think it's gonna be a good year. But we're giving away, we're giving away a lot of, um, a lot of stars like Strowman. We're giving away Baez. So, I, I mean, think th- I think it'll pay. We're I'd not giving. Sh- I'd rather take Scherzer over. Bias and well, yeah, we're not giving them away. They're signing. And when you heard the Javi Bias news that he was signing with the Tigers a while ago, were you confused or were you a little bit upset? Because I was, I can tell you, I was really upset. I really like Bias on the Mets. Tell me your opinion on that. Uh, I was a little upset. I mean, you can't play Bias, though. Um, they're going to spend his money on Scherzer. Sure, why not? It was Sam Stroman, too. He went to the Cubs. Um, it was, they were a little mad about like going for Scherzer first, but I think Baez did the right move. You know, six years is a lot. Like for like three hundred million, that's a lot of money. Um, honestly, I'd take that. But one thing I, one thing I, that's kind of all I have really, actually. Huh? That's kind of all I have. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Um, last question about the NFL. Give me all of your game picks tonight, starting with Bengals Titans. Who wins? Um, I got the Titans. I I think Titans come out on top. Um, I think Tan has a good game. Derrick Henry. Um, he's you know arguably the best um running back in the game. So I think they really come out on top in the Bengals. But I think the Bengals are going to keep it a tight game, a uh, close game with Jamar Chase. Got um, Joe Burrow. You got their whole offense. It's pretty stacked, so it's gonna be a good game, I think. All right, and then Packers 49ers. Who wins? Um, I got the Packers. The Packers are just Aaron Rodgers. Like Aaron Rodgers is really good. Uh, you got Devontae Adams. I don't think really um, the 49ers had a chance. I don't. I'm watching you. 49ers. 49ers can keep it a, a good game, but I think Packers come out on top by like at least like. 
Okay, I like that, and I said the same thing. We'll see you tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, just quickly, um, Buccaneers, Rams. Um, I think this is gonna be a really good game. Um, I have, I, I haven't thought about this yet, but I'm gonna take the Buccaneers because I think Tom Brady has a lot of experience in the playoffs in these kind of situations, and so does Gronk. Um. And I think they're just good right now to come off a win and get another Super Bowl. So I I think Rams, they're really confident going into this game too, but I think the Buccaneers are more confident and they'll I think the Buccaneers went to run up really bad and I think they're gonna come out on top. Alright, last game, Bills versus Chiefs trip. Who wins? This is gonna be this is a really good game. Um I have the Bills. Bills seeking revenge. I think the Bills really want this game. Like really badly. Even the Chiefs know. The Chiefs know Bills are coming off going into the game. Really wanted to win. Um, the Bills want to win more. And Bill, I think Bills have a really talented offense. Started the Chiefs. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, like uh, Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen. You got every everyone. Every position is set from top to bottom of the roster for both teams. But I think the Bills. I think their energy is gonna which. Um, Gonna feel them to come out on top. All right, I agree. Thank you so much for joining Trip. Um, we're gonna have the big MVP debate video next Wednesday. Uh, already four or six spots are um have been filled. So uh, just text me or go to down to the comments and see or and uh, set up a time to chat. There are only two more spots. Entries are due uh, Tuesday night. Thank you so much for joining Trip and enjoy the football, everybody. Peace.